What is up YouTube? My name is Eben, and today I'm going to take a look at a new deck that we got from Ultra Prism, and that is Garchomp. We're going to be running four Garchomp, so uh, mild spoilers there. Uh, for the uninitiated, because it is still pretty new, it's 150 HP stage 2. It's got free retreat, which is awesome. And for two colorless energy, it does 50 damage anywhere on your opponent's field you like, but that's not really the big deal. The big deal is that for one fighting and two colorless, it has Royal Blades, which is 100 damage, which is kind of forgettable, except that if you've played Cynthia, the supporter card, from your hand during that turn, it does an additional 100, meaning that for basically two energies, a fighting and a double colorless, you get to do 200 damage. And we're, of course, trying to get it done every turn. And that's enough to knock out most EXs and GXs, and with a choice band, obviously, that's 230. That wipes pretty much everything out of the way. So the whole deck is just trying to set up Garchomp uh, as soon and as efficiently as possible. Um, this is the build that I used. It was kind of uh, okay. Um, I don't know if I was in love with it necessarily, but uh, you know, the games where you got your setup, when it works, it works really well. It's very hard for people that rely heavily on GXs and EXs, which is most decks. Um, it's very hard for them to argue with that because you surrender one prize per knockout and you take two from them pretty much every time. Um, and Garchomp pivots around really easily and nicely. Um, we got uh, Gibblewiser running the Ascension one just because uh, it helps us guarantee our uh, our evolutions. Um, so yeah, there are other Gibbles, but this is the one I like because if you go second, you can just Ascension right up to your Gabite. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, and I'm running double Lucarios just because uh, if you've got the Garchomp out, which you should definitely try to, it's like a computer search. Uh, a cost-free computer search every turn so that's uh that's pretty amazing and i felt like that was worth running uh we're just running a 2-2 line to get that guy up and the only other mons we're running in the deck because we've already got quite a few mons are uh, two top leles these can get us our cynthia's they can also get us pretty much any other uh supporter we want obviously but um your your turn one bridget or your leles are kind of what you're going for there so that's your pokemon lineup pretty straightforward didn't get much uh much more direct than that and speaking of straightforward we're running four cynthia She's, uh, she's already seeing so much play in so many decks, but here she's especially useful, obviously, uh, because she triggers your Garchomp, so kind of play her uh, with a mind toward that when you play, but, you know, she shuffles away, draws six, which is awesome. Uh, our standard draw cards, we're running three ends, because um, obviously once you get your Garchomp up, this is always the card you want to play. So, ends pretty good. I'm running three. You could probably run four. Um, I opted to go with something uh, kind of interesting instead. Uh, Sycamore, I'm not a huge fan of. You kind of still have to run it because it's such a good draw power. But I didn't like the discard aspect of it in the early game, which is when you're going to be playing your non cynthia supporters the most. Um, I, I wasn't really a fan of, oh, you might have to discard some of your uh, some of your Garchomp family. Uh, so. so I wasn't as enthusiastic about that card. We're running two Bridget to kind of make sure we can go, like, say, Riolu, Gibble Gibble on turn one. And the one card that could easily be a fourth end, but I thought what I really needed in this slot, because I have been running three uh, Guzma, and I just wasn't able to really use them very much, because in the late game it's always Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia for the most part. I kind of thought, I want a supporter that draws me cards early in the game, and maybe without sending cards away like N does. And I went through all the supporters we had available, and I thought Lass's special is actually kind of a nice option, uh, because she draws you a card for each of your opponent's bench basic Pokemon, so, like, so many decks run Bridget. The idea was basically last is special to totally exploit that, and you should be drawing four to five cards easily uh, the turn after they Bridget, which is usually going to be your first or your second turn. So it was, it was a very nice draw card that doesn't make you shuffle things back into your deck or discard them or anything like that. So in retrospect, might even run a second one. Um, like, maybe drop... You know, it could be one of a number of things. Could be the Sycamore, could be an N. Um, just kind of play around with it. Might even be another Guzma. Uh, we are running two Guzmas, because these have very limited use in the deck, to be completely honest, which is kind of strange. Um, I think I'd still keep the two Guzmas. Um, but like I say, because of the way the deck works, you can't, like, Guzma in something big, and then Cynthia, and then Royal Blades. Like, it doesn't work like that. Um, but anyway, it's just something to play around with, uh, food for thought. We've got four Ultra Balls to get your uh, Leles early, and of course your uh, Garchomp Evolutions. And speaking of getting the evolutions to make sure we have the right thing at the right time, we are running two Rescue Stretchers. You can shuffle a full uh, full line of Garchomp, Gibble, Gabite into your deck with that, or you can just get the piece you need to get your evolution uh, consistently going. A number of people have asked me about Palpad, but I just think this is a better card. 
um, because it gets you Cynthia or Cynthia, you know, Cynthia and another card basically from your discard pile because you're going to have Cynthia's uh, in your discard most likely. Uh, and the nice thing is you can use uh, Lucario. If you have even one puzzle of time in your hand, you can use Lucario to get the second one. And then you're getting any two cards from your discard pile, which usually by the time you got that set up going is anything you want or need. It's all in the discard pile. Um, I mean, yeah, there's an argument, hey, you could pal pad and then you could search for the Cynthia from your deck with the Lucario. But doing this gets you not only the Cynthia basically guaranteed, but it gets you any other one card you want, including double colorless energy, a guard trump or whatever. So that's kind of that's that was my rationale for that. I think it's a really good pick for this deck. Uh, we're running three choice bands because we can kind of cycle them around and whatnot uh, via a uh, puzzle and whatnot. It's just it's a really solid card in some matchups. For those uh, two tens like Zoroark or Galissapod, um, or even for reaching two thirties like say Gardevoir, uh, this thing definitely puts them all into your KO range. And finally, we are running two field blowers just to uh, get rid of uh, irritating field spells your opponent might be, or uh, not field spells, stadiums that your opponents might be using to like help set up things like Brooklet Hill or get rid of like Parallel City and nuisances like that that can be a little bit of a burden. Um, getting rid of all those things, you don't really care about uh, Choice Band for the most part in this deck, which is nice, but we're, st we're still running the two field bars. And finally, we're running, uh, as far as our energies go, we're running four double colorless energy for all the obvious reasons, because uh, our pretty much our only attacking Mon uh, definitely wants to use it every chance it gets. And we're running eight fighting energies, and that is the deck. Definitely give it a try. I kind of had eh, lukewarm uh, play with it. Once it sets up, you're pretty much always golden, but getting those first few turns right is kind of the challenge in this deck. Um, so play around with it yourself. Uh, see what changes and improvements you can make. Comment down below. Uh, this is this is a really cool Pokemon. It's worth playing, and I think it's worth getting uh, getting right. Uh, I've seen a number of builds, and I think just the quote unquote right build isn't quite out there yet. So anyway, until next time, like, comment, subscribe, check out my channel for more cool content like this, and I will see you next time.